Hey everyone, it's Wit from Landing AI. Uh, thanks for joining us for another showcase of building things with Landing Lens. So today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take some satellite imagery and we're gonna build a system that counts pools in very large satellite images. So you may have heard about a recent development in France where the government was actually using AI to spot undeclared swimming pools and then tax them. Apparently there is a lot of folks who try to hide the fact that they have a pool from the government so they don't need to pay taxes. And so the government essentially uh, had some folks come in, build a model, and then fed in a bunch of uh, uh, satellite imagery to, to find pools that were undeclared and then go in and, and tax and probably find people. Um, and so after seeing this story, I thought, oh, that's quite cool. We could build that with landing lens and decided why not? So um, today what we're gonna do is build our own pool detecting system using some satellite imagery. Um, we'll use this image here, which has been provided by our partners, SkyFi, who is a great company that will essentially uh, uh, task satellites to go and get updated uh, uh, imagery for you, or you know, we'll sell you uh, images that are you know, from previous flyovers. Um, this image is huge. It's a place in Phoenix, um, and you can see there's lots of pools, and it's super high quality. So the first step we're gonna take is actually to split this image up, because if we fed it directly into landing lens, landing lens actually has a uh, maximum uh, 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 image size. And this is because as we're training, we only have so much memory to store the information that it's learning from. So we need to cap the image size. Um, we do support this thing called image splitting, where we'll actually slice this up into a bunch of images. But for this sake, I actually want to be able to see the specific slices. So um, instead of letting landing lens do that in the background, I'm actually gonna run it through a quick script, and I've already done this, uh, to do that for me. Um, super easy script. I actually just asked uh, ChatGPT, hey, can you write me a script to split a large image up into a bunch of pieces and save it? And so that's what this did. And so the output of this was actually this data set here, where you can see is essentially retained the same quality, but is, uh, you know, uh, snippets. So they all kind of piece together. Um, so we have this data set and I've actually already labeled it um, and you can access this data set if you'd like to try training your own model. Um, so uh, with this split data set, let's get to the platform. So as always, the first thing we're gonna do is create a project. I'll go here, I'll say uh, pool detector. And then uh, because I'm uploading previously labeled images, I'm gonna go into more upload options and I'm just gonna drag this folder over here and we'll let that load and be right back with you. Great, so now we're fully uploaded. Let's go to platform and check out our labels. Um, we can switch to instances, which will show us instances and there you have it, some uh, pools labeled, generally pretty good. Um, I'm familiar with this data set because I labeled it. so. Uh, pretty confident in its accuracy, so I'm just going to hit train and we'll quickly train a pool detecting model with landing lens. I'll be right back once this completes. So our training has completed and we can see that our performance is really good. Uh, high precision, high recall. Um, to see the predictions, we can just turn off ground truth and we can see them highlighted here. Maybe increase the size and yeah, looking good. Looks like it's predicting really strongly. Um, I can also switch to instances and see specific instance predictions as well as the uh, confidence score of that prediction. So looking really good, uh, you know, we can investigate specific things that were mistaken for a pool. Maybe we actually mislabeled. And actually, yeah, looking here, it looks like we actually missed labeling a few pools and the model still picked up on them. So we can see ground truth equals no label, but prediction equals pool. So what we could do is 
So we can come in here and we can actually see that pool right there and you know label that. And then immediately actually upon uh, relabeling, you'll see that it gets removed because we actually recalculate metrics. So again, we have another missed pool um, right here. Perfect, let's label that. Okay, and we'll go back, recalculate metrics. Okay, that one's disappeared. Um, here we have a final pool that we, or sorry, second to last pool that we didn't label, so I missed it. Label that, great, go back. Now that's been recalculated. And then finally, we have this pool, which I also missed, so fantastic, we'll label that. And now we'll see that we have, great, no more. So we can remove this, and now we can see that our model's precision has gone up to 100%. So without retraining, we actually just recalculate those metrics as you change the ground truth. So uh, excellent, better model. Now we are ready to deploy it. And so deploying it, uh, you have a few options. You can deploy to Landing Edge, which is kind of our on-premise app that you can download to your actual inference device. Or if you don't have those sorts of devices, you can just deploy to a cloud endpoint that will provision for you. And this just creates a nice API endpoint that your application can ping with images, and then it will return a really nice uh, JSON package detailing uh, whether pools were detected, what the confidence was, where they were, what shape they were, these sorts of things. So let's go ahead and hit deploy, and we'll call this uh, pool detector. Great. And then we're gonna create an endpoint and deploy. So we'll call our endpoint uh, uh, pool one. And we'll hit create. Fantastic, the uh, endpoint has been made. We'll hit deploy. This can take a second or two. Um, okay, so we've successfully sent this model to the cloud endpoint and we can easily ping it with our custom application using this curl command. Or if we just wanna quickly test it on landing lens, we can just hit uh, predict, and then we can just drag and drop. I have a holdout image here, ready to go. Great, and so we can see that uh, it successfully detected all the pools. So uh, looking like it's doing really well. Uh, we can move around this uh, confidence threshold which will adjust uh, you know, our model's uh, sensitivity. But I think this is just about good. And you'll notice that these metrics are based off of the uh, metrics we trained it on uh, with that validation and test set. So seems to be working really well all in all. And I'd say that this model is ready and, and live and can be linked into my uh, pool detecting application. Perhaps I should reach out to the French government, see if they need any help finding uh, tax evaders. Um, so for now, uh, thank you so much for your time and uh, feel free to leave comments, questions, uh, potential suggestions on, on enhancements, and uh, also feel free to access this data set and build your own pool detector. Thanks so much. Have a great day.